Hello, this is Melanie from the Grecian Garden, your holistic health specialist, showing you how to make herbal medicine with plants. I'm gonna start off by showing you how to make an infusion. An infusion is just a fancy word for a tea. The only thing is infusions are used for medicinal purposes. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a hibiscus infusion. And infusions are different because they use the more tender parts of plants, they use the flowers, the leaves, or the berries. And for this one, I'm using an organic hibiscus. You wanna make sure to get organic whenever you're dealing with medicinal plant preparation because you wanna make sure there wasn't any pesticides used. So for this infusion, I'm using hibiscus. And right now I've got four tablespoons, five and six tablespoons of hibiscus. So you want four to six tablespoons of dried plant matter or six to eight tablespoons of fresh. And you wanna add that to a glass quart jar. You then wanna add over your herbs, boiling water, and you wanna add it just up till you have one inch of headspace. Then you wanna put the lid on it, give it a shake and let it steep for 30 to 45 minutes. Keep in mind that the length and the amount of herb that you use will affect the final product. I have one over here that's already been steeping. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna strain it. And you can just compost the plant matter. So this is your hibiscus infusion. Don't forget to add the honey. And now I'm gonna show you how to make a licorice decoction. Now I'm gonna be showing you how to make an elderberry tincture. Tinctures are concentrated extracts of herbs. They are easy to take and easy to make. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make an elderberry tincture. And for this elderberry tincture, I'm gonna be using vodka. When you make a tincture, you, you can either use alcohol, um, vinegar, or even glycerin for a solvent. So for kids or anyone who's sensitive to alcohol, you can use glycerin or vinegar. And what you wanna do when you do your tincture, you wanna pour your berries or your dried herbs into the bottom of a four quart jar. It doesn't matter how much you wanna make. Again, this is your herbal medicine, so you're gonna make it exactly to your liking but whatever amount you put in the jar, you're gonna cover that with two to three inches of vodka. So I've got vodka here. I'm gonna go up about two to three inches. But for those that are sensitive to alcohol or for kids, you can use glycerin or vinegar. So you wanna cover that by two to three inches. And once you get it covered, you wanna put the lid on it. Don't forget to put a label on it so that you know the date that you made it and what's in it. Give it a good shake. And you wanna let this rest from anywhere from four to six weeks. You can leave it on a sunny spot in your counter or you can even set it outside and do a solar infusion. So once this has infused, Here's my elderberry tincture that I already let infuse. Once you've got your elderberry tincture, you're gonna strain it and then get ready to bottle it. So I'm gonna strain it out. This is a great medicine to have on hand when someone is coming down with the flu or a cold. You just wanna pour your tincture now that it's all finished into your medicine dropper bottle. And now you've got a medicine, it's your own herbal plant medicine that you made that you can take as prevention. You can take one teaspoon of elderberry tincture per day, per day just as a flu prevention or to help your immune system. Or if you are experiencing sickness, you can, as a child, you can take one teaspoon every hour to prevent sickness if you just hit it at the onset of symptoms. Or if you're an adult, you can take one tablespoon every hour as soon as you have symptoms of a cold or a cough until your symptoms are no longer there. 
So this is a really good one to have in stock and in your pantry. This is Melanie from the Grecian Garden, your holistic health specialist, showing you how to make herbal preparations with plant medicine.